Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Before we begin, we would like to thank you for all the support you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. Now back to the video. Have you ever sensed or felt things others couldn't or didn't notice? A highly sensitive person, or HSP, is a term to describe those with an increased central nervous system sensitivity to process physical, emotional, or social stimuli. These people are often more perceptive, empathetic, self-aware, and intuitive, which means they tend to have a deeper sense of love, intimacy, and emotional connection in their relationship with others. So, here are eight surprising traits of highly sensitive people. Number one, they notice subtle details that others miss. Do you notice even the smallest changes in others? Whether it's a change in appearance or a shift in behavior, you somehow always notice. Highly sensitive people process sensory information more carefully, so you may be naturally talented in observing the finer details and reading between the lines that others tend to overlook. Number two, they take more time in decision making. Does it take you longer to make decisions? Highly sensitive people process more information than others, where they relate and compare what they observe to their past experiences. So it may be quite normal for you to take more time in making decisions, since you need to take into account every option and outcome imaginable. Impulsivity and spontaneity is something you dislike, since you don't want to regret your decisions later on. Number three, they can be easily overwhelmed. Do you often feel overwhelmed when you have several things to do within a short amount of time? Compared to others, highly sensitive people process a lot more information, so it can be easy to feel overwhelmed. Too much sensory stimuli, such as noisy crowds, bright lights, or uncomfortable clothing can also be overwhelming. So you may have a tendency to stay away from parties, nightclubs, or concerts. Number four, they need more downtime than others. Do you find yourself needing time away from others? Since you become overwhelmed easily, it's essential to have some time to unwind and decompress. Whether you're meditating or playing games in your room, this time alone helps you recharge and clear your mind. So it can be common for you to disappear from your social groups for a few days at a time. Number five, they are more self-aware than most. Are you more introspective than most? With heightened sensitivity, you tend to be more in touch with your feelings and thoughts. Compared to others, you are more able to be aware of and recognize your own strengths, weaknesses, and needs, which may result in a richer and satisfying inner life. Number six, they experience emotions on a deeper level. Are you the type to wear your heart on your sleeve and struggle to mask your true emotions? Highly sensitive people have a tendency to make decisions based on their feelings. Because of how you are able to feel things more deeply than most, you tend to make decisions based on those feelings and react to situations more emotionally. Number seven, they are their worst critics. Do you always doubt yourself, especially when you are attempting something challenging? Highly sensitive people are often perfectionists and can sometimes be their own worst critic. The stress you may feel when completing a difficult task can even be multiplied when you are watched and evaluated by others to the point it affects your performance. This is also why embarrassing mistakes may tend to stick with you for a very long time. Number eight, they tend to avoid violent media. Do you find watching violent scenes on TV or movies extremely uncomfortable or unsettling? With an increased central nervous system sensitivity to process subtleties and details, highly sensitive people do not typically fit into the same category as people who seek adrenaline rush. Catching a violent or horror movie may be too overstimulating. So, how many of these traits did you relate to? Do you think you are a highly sensitive person? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. In an effort to raise awareness about mental health around the world, we started a Korean YouTube translated channel. If you know someone who speaks mainly Korean and would benefit from our videos, please share the channel with them. The link will be in the description.